Okay, breathe in, breathe out. We're almost there. The bottom line is it's complicated, but fascinating. So what we have is individuals that talk to each other, that come together, and some of them are going to meet more regularly. Well, because you've got these social networks and they're going to be important. The social networks are important for who you talk to, your communicative goals, um, your shared knowledge that you can draw on in a specific situation, and also the types of experiences you make. In all of these situations, you've got individuals with individual minds processing their information. And all these individuals, of course, have got individual constructicons. They've got constructions in their long-term memory and on the fly. They also create creative constructs. So if someone for the first time said firefighters cut the man free and he's cut in the resultative construction, here, it's probably conventionalized by now. You're going to find it on the web more than once, but there must have been, you know, there's no regressors at infinitum. There must be a starting point when someone first combined this. They did this in their mind by activating several constructions. There's a resultative construction. There's a verb cut construction that we've got here. There's a firefighter in the plural construction, man and free, and a definite noun phrase construction. And we don't have to go into the details here, but all of these must have been brought to this construct when someone said it for the first time. Then what happens is when this construct is then combined and uttered, it arrives at the other people's minds and brains, is processed, and it leaves a memory trace. This memory trace can then sort of disappear, but if it's deemed very appropriate, and that means this particular token has a high salience. Think small businesses are the backbone of our economy. For politicians, when they heard it, for ulterior motives or not, you know how politicians are, but for them, it was a useful thing to say. So it also got stuck in the other people's minds, and then they used it as a construction. But from a construction grammar perspective, I would argue it's this um, incipient point of when the first construct was created in the individual mind but in a setting where someone was talking to, or at least imagining writing to an imagined community. On Twitter, you know, when you write something, you imagine who's gonna read this. Um, so this interaction is always gonna be part of that. 